couple of years ago, when actually I just started acting as your agent, I came out to LA. We sat down to talk about the future, what your projects were going to be. We had no inkling of doing Black Irish, and the profession was on the horizon. Uh -huh. So my big thing was, I'm going to get Pressfield to do a series character. Uh -huh. I'm going to make this this great character in the profession a series character, and bang, 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 we'll do a Tom Clancy kind of like Jack Ryan thing. Uh -huh. It's going to be incredible. I forgot about that completely. It's going to be huh? incredible. Uh -huh. So I gave you maybe 45 minutes of a pitch, and you were giving me your Pressfield nods. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're like, you know, that's, that's a pretty good idea, and I'll think about it. But there is one project that I've kind of been mulling. And you said, I'd like to do my next novel, novel, right. about the, the Six-Day yeah, War. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, you want to write a novel about the Six-Day War? And you were like, yeah, I want to sort of make it like a Gates of Fire and sort of use fictional characters, but to use as much of the history. So I'm going to need to go to Israel. I'm going to need to talk to these guys. I need to get the, the background. I need to talk to, you know. And I'm like, you're talking about a narrative nonfiction book. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I didn't say anything about nonfiction. Tell me again. Give me, give me your thinking on why it couldn't be a novel. You know what? I think it was kind of an intuitive thing to me. It just didn't make any sense to me because what I always, I, I'm, you know, I'm an, a guy raised Irish Catholic in Pittsburgh, anti-Semitism, you know, that's the first thing I got with the communion wafer, you know. Uh -huh. And um, what always fascinated me about the Six Day War. By the way, the Jews killed Christ. <laughs> exactly. Never forget that. Exactly. Okay, yeah. So um, what always fascinated me about it, and, you know, I was growing up in all the Mideast conflicts and everything, it's like, wow, man, these guys are a lot of things, but they can fight, you know? These guys are like in the middle of nowhere, they're surrounded by everybody, and they kick ass. And I always found that fascinating, and to, to fictionalize it, just, it would have disappointed me as a reader. Ah. And guys who fought in the Six Day War are still alive, and to write a novel about it, it's like, hey, guys, your story's not good enough, I've got to invent new things. And I think there are a lot of people like me who are close to Jewish people and they're like, wow, I really wish I, 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 wish I got Israel. I really don't get it. Uh, yeah, What's it yeah, about? Yeah. What, who are these guys? Who are these Sabras? You know, who are these yeah. ass-kicking Israelis yeah. who come over here and open up businesses? And, <laughs> right, know? right, so, right. Um, Steal our parking places. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, I'm, and so when you were like Six Day War, I'm like, that's it. That was the moment in time for me and my family where it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. now, this oh, Israel thing uh -huh. is really huh. serious, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Um, they're they're huh. taking out everybody over there, and they did it in six days. I wonder how that happened. So when you said that, I was like, it's got to be Band of Brothers. Uh -huh. You know, because there's the great Michael Oren book on the Six Day War, which is, right. you know, the seminal history, right? Right. But there isn't that on the ground, you smell the petrol, you know. You, right, right, right. You can, you can see just the devastation and, and the camaraderie. And I knew if there's one guy who's going to be able to do that, it would be you, because that is, I mean, that's your, that's your sweet spot. You write combat action. Which I felt that, yeah, I yeah. felt that too. You know, yeah. not being egomaniacal at all, right. but I felt that too. But in a way, what we're really talking about here is genre, right? Yes. I mean, I'm suggesting, well, let's try this genre, and you're saying, no, 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 it's got to be this genre. So writers go wrong a lot of times, they pick the wrong genre. They yeah. have an idea, and they do it at the, in the wrong way. So you were saying narrative nonfiction. In fact, I remember that you gave me um, Black Hawk Down yes. as an example of what narrative nonfiction was, which I didn't even know what it was. So basically narrative nonfiction is, is like fiction, only it's real people and they're doing what they really did. You're not taking those real people and tweaking right. anything. You're going to find out what, what they did. So that's how I remember the beginning uh, and you did not jump on board, as I recall, immediately. No, that's that's true. And I was I I, I, don't, I just I remember um, 
you saying this is not going to work as a novel, you can't do it as a novel, and you were absolutely emphatic about it. You know, there was no, <laughs> no doubt in your mind. And I, my resistance came up, you know, capital R resistance came up, and I thought to my, I started kind of wetting my pants, you know, and I thought, <laughs> Maybe I should I'm, do this am gen I series. Write, <laughs> how can, I've never written narrative nonfiction. Can I do it? You know, um, what I'm am not I, a journalist. I'm not right. A what am I going to do without the crutch of being able to make up stories? You know, to you know, I want the plot to go this way, so I just make it up. You know, so uh, but then I but that was a great example of I think of a partnership of work, a creative partnership, and uh, I forget how long I had to sit with that. It wasn't too long. It's a couple because, months. Really. I remember yeah. it was like a couple of days, but at any rate, anyway, I, I somehow realized that you were right. I didn't find out that I was a Jew till I was 12, but what happened was some real Jews rejected me. <laughs> and then came 1967, the Six-Day War. Wow, these are Jews I can relate to. Yeah.